Hey guys, Manny Medina here again, and I'm going to be showing you on this video how to connect to your Amazon server, how to modify some of the server files so that you can increase the memory that Mavic has available by default. You're going to, I'm going to show you how to clear the cache, which means, uh, Basically, it means the memory of your program. This is something you're going to need to do several times when you're using Mavic, not, during the, not just during the installation, but as you start to install plugins and everything, you're going to need to know how to clear the cache. And I'm going to be showing you how to set up the cron jobs. This is a very common asked question, okay? So here, what I'm going to do is uh, I want you to I want you to uh, copy. So I, first, I want you to come to this to this page again. Hopefully, so if you're on the dashboard, again, you're going to EC2. You're going to come to running instances then you should have only one if your account is new you're going to copy the IP address and then I'm going to have this file right here this file available for you to uh, to copy and to see on the description of this video so once you copy the IP address I want you to come to this line and delete this IP address that you see right here and then copy yours of course mine is the same but you have to change it change this to your own IP address so now I want you to copy this entire line and I want you to open a terminal now if you're on Windows and you don't know what a terminal is it's uh, actually not unusual that you don't know because Windows does not include a terminal by default I'm using a Linux system so if you're using a Linux system and a Mac and Apple computer then it does include a terminal so all you have to do is open the search and type term and you can open a terminal if you are a Windows user you're going to have to download a terminal called git bash so do a Google search for git bash then come to the download page and download git bash for windows okay i don't want to download it i don't need it but if you're using windows this is a program that you're going to need to use that simulates a terminal now once you install it and go through the setup then you come back to this video and follow exa the, these exact same steps the steps are going to be the same for you so again you copy this whole line you open the terminal and you do paste so you can probably right click paste okay now on this line we still have to change this path to file remember on the last video I told you how uh, that I help you create a new key file and I told you that this key file is basically the password that you use to access your Amazon server files okay so you need to open a browser I mean a file manager on your computer navigate to your downloads or wherever or wherever your file is and then all you have to do is basically drag it and the complete path is going to be included on here okay 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 I forgot about this so actually to make your server uh, much more secure you have to do something so you basically have to change the permissions for the key file so that it's not accessible so that it's not modifiable Okay, so you're going to do that very easily. You're going to type chmod 
600 and then again the name in the path to your file so all again you have to drag it and the files have been changed then we're going to copy the line up here I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste hit enter and now you're inside uh, usually so if this is the first time your first time navigating to to your server your before you get connected to it you're going to have to type a yes and then hit enter and then you, you're going to get this uh, welcome message okay so once you're here once you connect to your server the first thing that we want to do is increase the memory that Mavic has available so to do that you're going to copy this line and then again paste this line is basically helping us uh, find this specific file okay so we go okay uh, well I was trying to find it but I already have the complete path if you install this through Mavic then you're going to have this right here so you can just basically copy this and paste it and it's going to open the file directly instead of having to search for it now we're inside of this file and again this might look confusing but don't worry as long as you type everything as I tell you then everything is going to be fine so once you're on this uh, file you're going to click Control and W and this is going to open the search the search uh, functionality and you're going to be searching for 128M because Mavic, I mean Bitnami by default gives Mavic only 128 uh, megabytes of memory to the software where our instance has 1 gig so 1024 megabytes so we want to change this to at least 512 so 512 you're going to change it on the first line and on the second line and then you're going to hit again control O and that is going to bring up a prompt that asks you if you uh, file name to write and then you click enter don't change anything just type just click enter just hit enter and then the file has been saved now you click you hit control again on your keyboard control X to exit the file okay so this looks a little bit confusing the file has now been saved and uh, so I'm going to type clear to clear the window so that it's easier to read now we go again to this document and I want you to copy this line actually I want you to add sudo to the beginning of the line you should, you should be able to just copy and again just paste this line and on this file we're going to modify so actually I want to tell you what, what this is doing what I'm going to be doing here is going I'm going to save you a headache in the future because usually if you're going to be using Mavic to track other websites and to put forms on other websites like if you're using Mavic forms and then you're loading a Mavic form on another website, uh, you're usually going to have some server problems because you're loading uh, code from one website on another website, but your server is not set up to allow this. 
So right now I'm going to save you a headache in the future by changing this line. So again, you really have to fully understand what you're doing right here. Just do everything as I'm, exactly as I'm telling you and you're going to be fine, okay? So again, you click Control W to open the search functionality and I want you to search for X frame option. X frame options and it's going to bring you here so can you see where right here so you use the keyboard arrows to move to the beginning of this file and all you have to do is add a hashtag at the beginning of this line and then you come down to this line also and also add a hashtag then all you have to do is save the file by clicking, by hitting on your keyboard Control O and then enter to save the file. The file has been saved and then Control X to exit this file. Like I said, this is going to save you a headache in the future. Now, to apply all of these changes on your server, you have to restart the server. All you have to do again is just copy this line and then paste it, click enter and then you wait for the server to restart and then you have to run this line again, also this line. So again just paste, run it. And just just wait for it just wait to get okay perfect so the, the server has been restored now all we have to do is clear the cache to clear the cache all you have to do is copy this line and I want and I I want to emphasize this you have to do this steps uh, exactly as I laid them down because if you try to clear the cache before you increase the memory for example you're going to get errors I, it actually took me quite a while when I was beginning to work with Mavic to understand what the problem was when I was trying to clear the cache and I ended up breaking my Mavic instance a few times just by trying to clear the cache but if you just basically copy this if you follow these steps exactly as, I'm, exactly as I'm telling you right now, you're not going to have any problems. These steps are meant to be followed in order just for the first time. If in the future you want to clear the cache for whatever reason, all you have to do is paste this line, paste the line that you just copied and then hit enter and the cache, is, the server is going to have enough memory to clear the cache and all you have to do is wait for the server to respond. Okay, so once you get the green line, all we have to do now is the cron jobs. Cron jobs is something that you have to set up no matter what hosting you're using. This is something that confuses a lot of people but it's really simple to set up. So Chrome jobs, you have to, to set up the Chrome jobs correctly on the Bitnami instance. You copy this line, sudo contact uh, dash e, and then you come back to the terminal, and then you paste this command. You're going to get this prompt right here, and all you have to do is hit two. Now, what this is asking you is which editor you want to open. You don't want to open any of the other options because you're just going to get confused. So, so just type two and then hit enter, and you're going to be on this on this screen now. 
and all you have to do so what this did is that it opened the cron jobs that are that were already set up by bitnami when bitnami installed the software but bitnami did it in a way where the cron jobs are only running once a day okay so to change that what we have to do is change I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that you can see okay and this a little bit smaller because I don't need that space so I copied uh, the cron jobs exactly as they need to look right here okay but I don't want you to just like delete everything that you see here and and then copy and paste so instead what I want you to do is go line by line using your keyboard arrows delete the one and then put an asterisk dash five and that's it what you're doing is that this cron job is going to be running and basically it's going to be running every five minutes Okay, so again, use the arrows to navigate on this uh, text editor, asterisk dash three, and again, asterisk dash three, then again, asterisk dash one, then again, asterisk dash 10, then I want to make sure uh, Mavic up, update, Mavic rebuild, Mavic campaigns trigger, Mavic trigger email sent, Mavic webhooks. And then I have this line at the end for social media. This line you do have to copy and then you navigate towards the end of the line and then you paste the last the last line okay so once you have everything looking like this all you do is again to save the file control o on your keyboard and then just hit enter don't change the name of the file just hit enter the file has been saved and then control x to exit And this is everything that you have to do to set up Chrome jobs. We have successfully set up our server in advance. We have avoided a lot of issues that people have when installing Mavic. And we have done so before we even log into Mavic. Okay.